As we grow into our 60s, I think there's a lot on our minds. Uh, Our circumstances have changed so much. Our our children may be leaving home and starting their own families, their own lives. Our jobs have perhaps ended and maybe not in ways that we were expecting. There's a a change in our our location. Maybe we've moved houses or, or just built new relationships. There may have even been a divorce. Things happen, but there's so much that we should be grateful for. And I think that that kind of lens is helpful when we're transforming ourselves in our 60s. And I'd like to talk to you about how to practice gratitude journaling. Um, I think it's an imp- a really powerful way that we can bring into focus the things that are important in our lives and then just move around and on from all those other things. My name is Margaret Manning. I'm with 60 and Me, and I'm very grateful for you being here today. Thank you so much for the, taking the time to join us. Our show is brought to you today by International Living. Now, International Living is a company that helps people make decisions about retiring overseas. So if you've got any thoughts about moving to Panama, Ecuador, Portugal, there's so many choices. Check out their website, internationalliving.com slash 60andMe, and you can ask them to send you their latest uh, report. They do all kinds of reports. There's no charge. You can just ask them to send you the link and they will do that. It's uh, very educational and informative formative if you are considering retiring abroad. So gratitude journaling is something that I have actually, I've done this pretty much all my life. There were some years, maybe even tens of years in there where I didn't do it as much. But when I was younger, I did it all the time. And the reason that I I did it then was to document the things that were good about my life. And I think when you're younger, you tend to do that because you're you're experiencing things for the first time. You're telling about your travel experiences. You're in, there's so much that's new that you want to report on, <laughs> but there's so much um, as you get older that gets in the way of that, and it kind of colors the uh, the joyfulness sometimes. You know, like I said, you you've got family that are moving away. You may have lost someone. You know, someone that you loved very much has, has died and passed away, to, and you really don't know how to rebuild your life. So all those uh, moments of gratitude for things that are positive start to get blended into the reality of of some sad situations. But it's really important, I think, to try. (laughs) And the research, uh, Diana Robb wrote an article for us on on 60 and Me about this. And the the research is by the um, Journal of Happiness Studies. And they uh, write about how people who write in a gratitude journal And I'll tell you how we're going to do this in a minute. It's not hard. It's not like a big chore. There's very specific little things you can do that they actually are happier people. And not only are they happier, they're healthier and they live longer, um, just more meaningful lives. And, you know, you don't have to write down like pages and pages of of words. This is something you can do bullet points, um, you know, a couple of words. And uh, in fact, last year, I did this. I got a diary and I put one word every day in every day, every every day of the year, just how I was feeling. Sometimes it was, you know, just the same for a week, (laughs) busy, busy or bored or whatever, but it was fun. And maybe that's something to try. The gratitude journal is yours to create. There isn't a formula. So if you're a gratitude journaler, you're less likely to depression and um, these you know, sort of self-doubt and, and lacking confidence. You tend to just see things through a lens, which is more positive. So uh, how do you practice gratitude journaling? Well, it's a very uh, powerful way to do it by writing, you know, by writing down in a journal. But you can also send an email to someone. You know, you can also just send a quick email that says, you know, I just just thinking of you today and uh, maybe wishing birthday. I don't know, but something I thought of you today. And I remembered the time that we went on this road trip together or the time we went to that movie together and just how pro- important you are in my life, how much I appreciate you, how grateful I am for you in my in my world. And that can have a really powerful impact for someone who's maybe also having a bit of a bad day. So pick up your pen or send a, a card is great. A postcard is always wonderful if you can just write it and get it in the mail. That's such a nice thing to receive. So face-to-face or in a note, that's always great. Um, It gives you a chance. Well, there's some benefits for the person that's receiving the, the note, but also it gives you a chance to slow down realize what you're grateful for. And and just it just fills you with a little bit of, I don't know whether it's serotonin or something else, but that kind of hormone of happiness that you feel like you're okay, that you've got things to treasure, things that are important to you. And maybe you can think of some now. 
Now, let's just take a moment because this is what these, when we talk like this, the, the, the articles and stories are always about you. This is always about what you're going to go through after you listen or as you're, as you're listening. And Diana did a really good job, I think, of giving some specific moments that, uh, that you can write about. Morning, evening, quiet time is good, but just write about, for example, people that you're grateful for. Of course, their family, your friends, or just people, maybe someone you've just met, or it could be someone you want to meet, people that you care about, that you are that find important, an event or experience that you've had. Maybe it's uh, you want to write about something in your home that maybe you look around and you see something and it's like it's a value to you. It's something that, um, you know, you don't want to give away. I just picked up the first thing that I saw in my world, which is my my gentle yoga or chair yoga. This is my chair yoga DVD. It's a 60 and me um, product. It's, it's actually free to watch on uh, YouTube. You can buy the DVD if you'd like, but it's it's totally free. But that to me, exercise, well-being, healthy living, keeping my health touch wood is so important to me that I'm grateful for that. So that's one thing. Um, books that greatly influenced your life. You could just write down the title of the book and, and just know in your heart that you're grateful that you read it because it, it changed you or it added something to your life. Uh, you can write about a trip that you took, some place that you visited that you love. You can write about um, a skill that you have, something that you do really well. Maybe you haven't done it in a few years. Maybe it's playing the piano or, or drawing or doing coloring or, you know, knitting, whatever it is, something that you love to do, writing. Uh, maybe it's something that, that you don't, you know, want to give up and you, or maybe restart. But those are just a few examples. And I think that's really helpful to have those that list. It's in the article that, that um, uh, Diana wrote. So just check it out. Another thing, of course, is to practice with people <laughs> in the real world. And uh, I actually always, um, I don't know about you, but I always like to give compliments. I think that they're really a, a great way to connect with someone, even if it's just you're standing at the bus stop and you say, wow, I really love your coat. That's an amazing coat. I love it. Or what a beautiful scarf you're wearing. Um, just whatever. That is, a, I'm grateful for you showing me that and being enhancing my world, enhancing my life. And the other thing is too, when you're in a dinner situation with family or friends, how many times has this happened? You sit down at the table at the restaurant or in your house and everybody pulls up their phones. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, well, let's just for this one time, let's put our phones in a bowl. Let's put them in the basket in the middle of the room, turn them off and just let's have a, at least half an hour. Let's just eat the meal without talking on our phones, taking a text. It's so much a part of culture right now, but we can change that and we can do it in a way that makes a difference. So that's important uh, face to face. You can take out of uh, town guests that you have to the to places you love, you know, places you're grateful for like the walk or your yoga class or your gym gym that you go to or a dance class that you take or just a secret park or a place where you have a picnic bench that you always sit down. Those are the things you're grateful for. It's not a big deal. It's not like you have to be grateful for having money or, you know, a car or something like that. It's, a, it's the little things. I don't know why that made me so emotional as I said that. I, I think it's just so true, though, that we just we just measure sometimes – um, are what we have by the big things, you know, the, the things that we own, whereas it's nothing to do with that, in my opinion, at all. It's, yeah, money helps. Money is a great enabler, but it's not the thing that we, in my, in my mind anyway, from my heart. So practice doing a no phone dinner, go out, to, um, but do it all year round. Don't just wait for the holidays or some time of the year when you're all together. Just do it any time that you can. So if you were going to put a note in your gratitude journal today, just a short note, what would it be? I am grateful for, that would be cool. Just write that down. And, and how does practicing this gratitude um, help you? Perhaps you do it all the time, but how does it help you? How would you think it helps you? Just leave that in the section below. Let's, let's start a conversation and I'll join in too. But it's like, I'm grateful for, or I, I'm happy and appreciate this thing in my life. That would be wonderful. I am grateful for what? Thanks everybody for being. You have a wonderful day, wherever you are. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out our website, 60andme.com. And of course, this YouTube channel has 1600 videos now on every topic from fashion and beauty to retirement and downsizing and relationships. It's all there. So just check it out and we welcome you here. And thanks a lot for your support. Take good care, everybody.
Bye-bye for now.